This is our very first episode of Scout TV. On this episode, you hear about upcoming events. You'll also get to hear about the question of the week, which professor do you think is the best dancer? And we have a little treat for you at the end of that one. Also, an overview of the basketball game versus JCC, our given rival. A little update on the fitness center, what they do, and what they offer for our students. Also, you'll get to hear about what's coming up on next week's episode of Scout TV. So did you know that our campus offered several types of events to meet your needs, both fun-wise and professionally? A couple of the events that we've had so far this semester would be the Martin Luther King Jr. event that just happened this past Monday, where students were able to come and do several volunteer items like make blankets, write letters to troops, and even go to the nursing home and play a few games with them. One of the things that also just happened uh, was on Wednesday, which was Know Your Community Day. That just happened on the 23rd, like I said. And that was a chance for you to be able to come out, see a lot of the new clubs that are around campus. Maybe even if you wanted to start your own, that was your opportunity there too. But you can always come by our office in room CC01 and do that as well. A couple of events that are coming up though, the Leadership Development Workshop, and it's actually gonna be a clay relay this time. So if you guys come down to the cafeteria at 11 a.m. all the way through noon, you don't have to stay for the entire time, but staying for a good chunk of it would be awesome. And you can come down, learn some leadership skills, which can be useful both in the workplace and at school for group projects and things like that. Another thing that's coming up, if you already are part of a student organization, is we have a few opportunities for student organization workshops. So those are going to be on the 28th, the 29th, and the 30th. As long as one person from your club and one of your sponsors comes along with, it's totally fine. It can be any person from the club. So if you wish to attend, I hope we see you there. All of the information for upcoming events uh, that you want to have, you can come by CC001 and we'll get you totally stocked up on that. Until then, we'll you need to keep a lookout for all of the flyers that are going to be posted around campus for events that are happening all throughout the semester. And now, our question of the week. Which professor do you think is going to be the best dancer? Out of all of the professors at Penn Valley, which do you think would be the best dancer? For real, for real, I can see Ms. Meyer doing getting down. Ms. Meyer or Mr. Yao. He's a math teacher, but he's crazy. He's funny. Probably Miss Nottingham. Yes, Miss Nottingham would probably be the best dancer yet. Um, I would say Millie Nottingham. Let me see, that's a hard one. I say Miss Scott. Deborah Scott. Lyle Gibson. Donald Lee, I guess. Donald Lee? Yeah. All right, awesome. You know, I might say Miss Gwen. Miss Gwen? Like, yeah. She looked like she could do his Charleston and Dougie and <laughs> hit all, all around. No, I'm just kidding. Kim Wilcox. Uh, Jess Harding. Jess Harding? Yeah, definitely. Jude Hunt. Jude Mr. Hunt. Hunt. Yeah. All right, awesome. Who do you think? The same. The same? The same. Out of all of the professors here at Penn Valley, who do you think would be the best dancer? Um, I think Millie Nottingham. Yeah. She kind of seems, well, she's a blues senior, so I feel like she would she can bust a move. The winner of the best dancer of instructors of Penn Valley is Miss Millie Nottingham. Were you not able to make the basketball game versus JCC? Well, here's a little recap in case you missed it. to the fitness center. Here's a little bit about what you can do there and what they offer for us. 
this is Erica reporting from Scout TV. Uh, today we're going to be talking to Ms. Sherry Dietz. She's a fitness specialist here at the fitness center on campus. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. All right. you? Very great. Um, now, what do you exactly offer here in the fitness center uh, for our students? We offer PE classes first off, so they can take one credit, two credit, or three credit hour classes. And we also offer a student membership where they can just come work out at any time that we're open. Okay, and I know that you guys also do offer classes here. Um, what kind of classes do you offer? We offer yoga and Pilates and boot camp and cardio fusion and build a better body. Those are most of the classes that we have. And so it's a combination of yoga, relaxation, Pilates, strength, cardio. We've got all of it in our schedule. Um, and I know that you guys um, do offer like day passes, like let's say a student just wants to come here for a day and work out, how do they go about that? They just come up here, we have them fill out a health release form and it's a $5 day pass. And for students, for the whole semester, it's $75. And if they want to use their financial aid money for that, they can purchase their membership at the bookstore with their financial aid money. Great, and uh, what kind of advice do you have for a uh, regular college student that is very scarce on time? I would say come in and do a circuit workout. Then that's where you combine cardio work along with the weight machine. So it's like an interval where you do three minutes on the cardio, one minute on the weight machine, and that way they can get the whole kit and caboodle in one workout. A two in one. <laughs> All right, well there you have it guys. Thank you very much Ms. Sherry Dietz for having us here. This is Erica reporting from Scout TV. Until next time. That was our very first episode of Scout TV. We want to know what you thought about it and if we need to add something else. Come by room CC001 and let us know. On next week's episode of Scout TV, you'll find out about some of the events that are happening in February. We'll have a brand new question of the week, which you, our students, have responded to. An overview of that week's basketball game. A new department highlight. And also, of course, you'll get to know what's going to happen on our third episode of Scout TV. Catch you later.